Hello everyone, this is Man Faces, and today we're going to be setting up a Yao Guai farm. So if you guys been keeping up with my animal farm videos, uh, we recently made the Ragstag farm. And it paid off like in plenty. I believe I have about 42 pieces of Ragstag meat. And... Because of that, I've decided to go on ahead and start free ranging my rag stag to get a little bit of settlement defense. So now that we've gone ahead and we've yeah. got a substantial amount of meat, we're going to go on ahead and move up to our target settlement. Okay, so we're ready to set up our farm, but I've had to change our location. It just was too small at Ten Pines Bluff. So we're going to go on ahead and make it at Sunshine Tidings. I think I'm going to go on ahead and put my cages up on this hill. Maybe kind of sink them in with some foundations. Make it look kind of nice. So now that I have access to the Beta Wave Emitter, uh, I don't have to be as careful with the farming as I was with the Rag Stags. Uh, I literally can just let them free range and then we can get some extra settlement defense because... Uh, the ultimate goal is to get some free settlement defense, and if I can get like 10 settlement defense for a piece of meat, I am down. So, I'm going to go on ahead and mock up the cage setup back here, get some power in the base, uh, and probably find a place for my beta wave emitter. So, I'll keep you guys in the loop. Okay, so it took me most of the day to get the Yao Guai farm set up. And to arrange uh, a secure place for the beta wave emitter. So I just wanted to show everybody what I had going on in here. Uh, I was using the double mat tricks to hide the generator for the beta wave emitter. That way, because uh, it's the most fragile. Now, what I did with the beta wave emitter is I put it on rugs and then put it in there. Because nothing was big enough. It, it needed all of its points you know covered and I just left that tip right there just for danger sakes you know I didn't want it to be too secure but I'm gonna be leaving these right here so I kinda tucked it off in the corner uh, just in case it does go bad and I need to fix it so if we come over here we got all our uh, rag our Yao Guai cages I just went with four four seems to be the magic number with these cages uh, any more seems to be waste, especially when you're in survival mode because it goes so quickly. Uh, you'll be catching them before you know it. So now that everything's set up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a settlement beacon here and do the typical settlement stuff. Uh, and then I'll hit you guys when we catch our first Yao Guai. Alright, we got our first Yao Guai. Let's open it up. Let's see what we got. Hey, wow, he looks rough. Um, and he's not real. I mean, he's here, but bad idea. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh well, we need some meat. I am so much of a higher level than us. Man, come here. Huh. Oh! Alright, so we fixed it. Looks like it was a pathing issue. And we can move this. <laughs> Man, these guys are weird to have around. Yeah, well, let's see how much settlement defense. Well, he's seven, so he's equal to a rad scorpion. Uh, apparently, it had something to do with uh, him not have a pathing out of the cage. Hopefully, the other guys aren't glitched like that, too. If they are, then we'll probably have to address it. Or not. 
we could just get lucky. Yeah, that should work. Okay, so let me get the power back on and then I'll hit you guys when we got more Yao Guys over here. And as you guys can see, we've been at it, man. We've got them. Got our beta wave emitter still running. <laughs> They're all chilling in the houses. Uh, it is a very scary settlement to be inside of. So let's see. We have 56 defense. And I think they're all Yaogwai. So now, because things have been heating up, we're going to need our meat more than ever. Wow. The problem is we got some serious potential going on over here. But there are some little stragglers and some babies around here uh, that we can finish up. Or get ourselves wrecked by. All right. And we're okay. I just wanted to show everybody that yes, you can kill the Yao guys. The other Yao guys will not care. So what I'm going to do is I'm pretty much just going to be mowing down all of the lesser Yao Guai. Because I do want these guys for settlement defense over here. Namely just because it's cheap settlement defense. I think I have... No, I don't think I have any settlement defense over here. Just didn't want it. Going to go with the Yao Guai defense. All right, here's another baby. We can take him out. All right. And that gets us four. So we're already up one cage. And then we're going to keep it going. So that way we can get more and more Yaogwai over here. And then as we get more, we can keep killing off the Scragglers, getting our meat. Or we could go in for a full-on culling with some rocket turrets. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show a cage design set up to auto-kill. Uh, because it's a little dangerous. Like, those Dusk Yaogwais and the Rabbit Yaogwais, they will take me out. <laughs> if you guys hadn't seen that already. But at the same time, man, you know, we need our meat. So we'll catch you guys in a bit. All right. So, what I wanted to try is to see what happens if I attack one of the bears and then see if my turret can handle it. Or will they get out of hand and they start killing all the settlers. So, let's just pick us off one. Look at this guy in the house. He's still not an enemy. Oh, so I can sit here and snipe the bears. <clears throat> We're doing decent damage to him. Thank goodness for the sneak damage, but... Mm, that's a good option, then. Look at that. Sniper perch. I like that, man. But that's not what we came here to test came here to test see the rocket turrets was going to get it in. Bring it, there we go. Alright, so he's an enemy now. Mm. That's interesting. Maybe the rocket turret is too high. Honestly, he's not doing anything but trying to attack Piper. Piper, way to work. Hmm, so it seems like your automated settlement defenses won't kill them when they go hostile. That's pretty bad, but that's also pretty good because sometimes those rocket turrets can kill you. So there are ways to kill the bears. Um, we found one at Finch Farms, namely. So 
What you could probably do is set up a cage with kill defenses in it and then just like let them out. Yeah, I'm going to mock that up because I'm kind of interested to see what it looks like. So we'll be back. There's one more test I want to try. We still have our beta wave emitter activated, but we have a Yao Guai over here caged up. If we can get him to come out. Okay, so what I did is I went on ahead and set these spike traps up. But they don't seem to be doing the job as well as it did on the Brahmin, but maybe he's just trying to get out of there. But as you can see, we got our farm set up. I put this tower here so that way I could snipe the uh, the Yaoguais without anyone knowing. I mean, the settlers won't do anything, but I don't want the Yaoguais to kill any of my uh, settlers over here. Because I wanted to just kind of see what it was like. To have the Yao Guai and the Settlers. And actually this is one of my happiest farms to date. So I don't know. Maybe it's the uh, safety of the settlement. Maybe they just like cuddly little teddy bears. <laughs> the drip drool man. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. Like share subscribe. Stay tuned for more vids. Man faces take care.